So whatever your experience is right now is not in any way, shape, or form indicative of who you are. Isn't that liberating? This entire experience, all your sensations and your thoughts and your beliefs and the textures and the colors of the wall behind me and the way that you hear my voice and the tonalities and the memories that you carry in your consciousness and in your field, the experiences you've had in the past, the hopes and the dreams you project into the future, which doesn't exist because it's all parallel to this now. All that is not in any way, shape, or form, or to any degree, indicative of what you are. All it does is confirm that you are that which is before all that. That you are not this. And if you are not this, and what you are is all there is, then this is actually not. Meaning it has no substance. It only appears. It only appears to be. But it is not. It only appears. It is the true self that gives it appearance. It's the awareness. And before that, we go even farther, before even the sense of universal I am-ness, then all things literally disappear. All things disappear because they never were. There only is the one, you see. There only is the one. And even though this is not, somehow all this is that. It gets really weird. <laughs> the intuitive, instinctive understanding is not only more important, but trumps in all ways the mental and intellectual understanding. So trust in the instinctual understanding, because I see a lot of you sort of nod and sort of scratch your head, but at the same time know what I'm talking about somehow. You nod with an affirmative, oh, mm, 